So, are we remiss in not discussing the fact that this game starts with this is a horror story, this is a love story, as part of its framing? Probably. I like that. That probably is meant to form more of how you connect with this story, isn't it? I mean, I have had that in mind, but I'm not sure we've explicitly stated it yet. I, I think I probably forgot about it as soon as we started, and I'm not convinced that that's... I'm not convinced that I haven't missed anything because of that. Like, it doesn't change what what's happening in the story, but it definitely can impact how you see it when there's, like, an author note like that. Not, like, an author note, but there, there's, like, kind of a framing note like that. I, I mean, I think it's easy to see it as just a, a sort of, like, list of content warnings and, and not really pay attention to the fact that it also mentions that it is a love story. Because it starts with, like, this is a horror story and therefore there's going to be a bunch of graphic stuff, but then also it says that it's a love story. I think it certainly kind of informs the way that you think about where this game is going to be going in the many, many many situations where it ends and you have no idea what the fuck just happened. <laughs> See also the fact that the uh, the hands lady can't answer any questions in a straight fashion. At least it has for me. Anyway, uh, we're here and we're gonna we're gonna do some more stuff and keep her. poking at this until don't, an ending happens, I guess. End of the world. I mean, you know, yeah, that 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 that's the prompt. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find so I, the I feel like I've within. kind of taken the reins of the last few forks. Chris, you want to fill this one? Uh, in what sense? I, I don't. I don't. What? What does it mean you to take the lead in this sort of a conversation? I guess. Bare. The air is stale. Yeah, just and arbitrarily and make decisions. Walls are painted in a yeah, I mean, Rescar has dust. been the one making most the of the decisions so far. Is a plain wooden table. Perched on that. Okay, so not commentary, but like how we're going to play this out. All right. No, we in fact do not actually want you to talk at all. We would like you to signal your decisions via text message. I'll send. I'll send carrier pigeons. <laughs> the blade is your implement. You'll need it. So this is a fresh run. Right. Uh, what what have we done? Uh. Uh. Okay, we've we've gone hard on trying to slay her, and we got that like bloodthirsty princess, and that was the patron week stuff. Um, and then we, uh, what was the next one that we did? I don't remember. I, th I feel like we've done a bunch of non blade oh. ones. Also, also on the patron week one, we did uh, the thing where we tried to run away and not go to the cabin, and and then the world just sort of ended arbitrarily. <laughs> um, most recently, we got the witch and then the thorn, and uh, we actually successfully managed to uh, rescue the princess, and then the world ended anyway. I mean, that's. I feel like that's always going to happen, but I, I would say we, we've, we've done more not take the blade than take the blade. So let's. Yeah, we have absolutely done more not taking the blade. So well, yeah, you know, I, I don't think we've studied the blade the much at all. It'd be more <laughs> difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. Okay, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna go into the... The door to the basement spooky. creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room okay, below. Okay, skip this. This is an oppressive pl her voice. Who's there? She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Uh, hey, I think I'm here to kill you. <laughs> oh, are you now? Why don't you come down and let me take a look at you? Great job. You gave away the element of surprise. Good luck, hero. Look, th this hasn't ended well whenever we've tried to do this before. And lock eyes with the princess. 
There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? Focus on the task at hand. You weren't kidding when you said you were here to kill me. Yeah, it wasn't a joke. I don't know if anyone has ever said you weren't kidding when you said you're here to kill me sincerely in the entire history of but human you don't language. Have to try and kill me. <laughs> you could always toss that scrap of metal to the ground and give the two of us Particularly a not in that kind out. of like um, she makes a equanimous voice. tone of voice. What if we didn't kill her? What if we just dropped the blade and talked? Don't you dare. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster. Killing someone in cold blood. Do you know how you, you pronounce that word equanimous? What? what? I just looked up how you fucking say it. what I would have said was equanimous. Apparently, it's just equanimous. That doesn't oh, sound I hate right. it when that I hate it when that happens. That I, no like one has British ever said ]ism. equanimous to me in my entire life. Equanimous. Uh, that's the. That's always. Are you sure you're reading the dictionary right? No, yeah, it's, it's, he's it's, right. It's, it's equanimity and it's equanimous. That's stupid. I, I mean, it's it's pretty stupid. This language sucks. <laughs> uh. So do we think dropping it now and having a conversation is in any material way different than not bringing the blade and starting by talking to her? Do you, do we think we are That's now on a different That's something I don't foot? think we've ever actually done on this run. Have we verified whether every fork, like every like uh, non-novel fork is removed? Or is it possible to get the same like princess from a, a, a pass? Or to get a pass, which we just haven't work. actually verified that, and we did end up with two different princesses on day two and day three the last time. So maybe we could still get the witch again. I don't know. I I don't think we could get the witch again going this way. I think we've we've already locked ourselves out of that particular sequence of events. But I I, I don't think it's also I don't think it's a a branching narrative in that sense. Like I think dropping it dropping it is either a we are either on a new path where we have brought a knife into the equation, shown hostility, and if we drop it, are opening ourselves up to have a conversation, and that informs our relationship, or dropping it presents the opportunity to skip back to the path of having not brought the weapon in. And I don't know I which I suspect it is. the former is how it works. Then well, let's, let's drop it. it. I mean, no, let's, dro let's drop okay. it, because th then we can see, if, see what happens. Blade tumbles out of your trembling hands and drops to the floor with an unceremonious clang. Thank you. Maybe now we can just talk. Fucking equanimous, are you serious? <laughs> That's terrible. I apologize. I'm still on that. You hear me say those words. Against your better judgment, you step forward to speak with do the princess. Do you know how to read the dictionary face. correctly? Who do you think you're talking to? Look. Is this our thumbnail? It just sounds so wrong. There's something fun. about the the big eyes of this princess. Don't know what you're hoping the to big like here, but I more or less level, reasoning. straightforwardly staring <laughs> staring eyes that Just has kind sure of like a the blade on the floor, you're like early two thousands brat doll vibe. A little bit. Like this is this is unsettling in a way that's like borderline deliberate in a lot of like or like that, that normally you see it and you're like this is borderline deliberate but maybe a little bit more so than intended here i think it's probably just straightforward exactly what was intended so here we are what an awkward start to a relationship are you coming on to me hmm. <laughs> don't jump to any weird conclusions we're two people who have met each other. By definition, we have a relationship. Oh, people who met each other. So, no, not a concept. <laughs> All right, I don't. I don't want to do the what's your name I... thing because we've gone down that rabbit hole. Yeah, that's true. How long have you been down here? Too long. Note the lack of detail. You can't trust her. Look, narrator, you're not wrong, but that's a really lame one. 
Oh, she responds with too long. Oh, it's not detailed enough. Why didn't she go into a great backstory? If I ever you ask you how what? long you've been somewhere and the answer long enough suffices, I will trust you on that. Do you know why I'm here to kill you? Do you? Uh, she turned it around on us. Uh. <laughs> oh no! Fuck! And then you just run back up the stairs and leave without saying anything else. <laughs> I guess I know what I've been told. Whether or not I believe it is an entirely different matter. So you're not going to. That does kind of beg the follow-up question: <laughs> What do you believe? If you talk, I'll talk. And if the answer is I do this not know, isn't then talking. that's going to be an awkward pause. All right, we've talked enough. I, I, I don't know if there's anything. Oh, have you decided what to do with me? You know why you're here. She really yeah, hasn't given me much to work with. <laughs> the character in a visual novel doesn't want to talk to me. I'm generally okay with that. <laughs> Ah, uh, this is a very short visual novel. Nothing can, happens. Can we keep her locked away? No, because if we leave... Have we done that? Where we keep her locked up and, and the we world never, ends anyway? I don't think we've ever tried to just leave and keep her locked away. It was usually like, oh, we need to go and, and get a key or something. No, we were we had to go back and get the knife, and then the knife was like thrown down the stairs and we were locked in with her. And I want to avoid doing that, because that's an ending we've done but i feel like maybe this I, is there are, I i think there are definitely like aspects of that that we can still explore but i don't know what do you two feel i'm, I'm kind of ambivalent here this is sort of the crux of the of, of the debate the i mean killer, do you we... want to go down the the try to kill her route or do you want to go down the try to save her route or do you want to try to just like not do either i guess is the question my, my problem ah. is as we oh go ahead red screen sorry I was gonna say, like, I, 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 I sort of see where Chris is coming at it from this. Um, I think if we did just try to walk away, I almost want to see if it's just the same thing over and over again. I don't think it's going to be the same output, but is it going to be the same immediate response? Or is there another way to, like, is there another way that that scenario goes besides just pushing you back onto the critical path or adding kind of like a, a twist there? I, I seem to recall that it wasn't just straightforward the last time we got that. Like, it, it was, it was, um, there were evolutions of that scenario the last couple times that were dependent on the specific circumstances of the princess of the dungeon. I'm, I'm down to just, like, try bouncing, see what happens. We've also specifically only ever done that on runs where we were attempting to save the princess, and we were, like, yeah. trying to find a way to get her out of the chains. That's true. And then Chris was like, how much do you like your right arm? Um, in that case, I guess let's let's try to keep her locked away. Let's just see if this is a, a novel path. All right. That seems like a pretty good compromise. Leaving her alive is too risky. If you don't deal with her soon, she's... She's not incredibly pleased by this. One way or another, I'm going to find a way out of here. You can make it easier for both of us if you help. And if you don't, I can promise that you'll come to regret that. Decision. I actually think that she would have been scarier if she just kept the same facial expression. You have to make a choice. I think that this facial yeah. expression is it's less scary than the previous sakes, facial expression. Right one. Uh, do we want to con commit to that? Are we doubling down on this? It uh, seems like we've you. already... Well, it feels like we've already made a choice that has influenced the princess. She is speaking in a different face with a different Probably, font. Probably, yes. Uh, I'm curious what happens if we try to get her out now. Okay. Do that then? Uh, unless you guys really want to see what happens when we leave. I I'm cool with either. Let's go with Campster. Oh, for the love of... <laughs> Good. Okay, no, she's back. Okay, we flirted with doing it. Making a huge mistake. Well, no, she, no, but no, I think now she's smiling. Accents that were not there before. You walk up to the chains binding the princess. And yeah, the eye, the, 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 the thousand yard stairs. They're large and heavy, far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. I'm guessing you don't have the key. Okay, we've definitely been here before. Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. Doubtful. 
whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of day. I, yeah, we have, I don't think it's going to happen, but in some if she does, like, bite her arm off, I do want there to be a dialogue option for us, like, oh, this again, all right, I'll just be over here. <laughs> we, ha we have done both of these, unfortunately, I think. Because if we go back upstairs, the door's going to be locked, and if we say, do you have any idea that she'll start biting her arm off? No. If there uh, were like novel won't. things to to run into with this, then they would. I be I, I think choices, that maybe so. this princess won't gnaw her arm off. Let's let's explore that hypothesis. If there isn't a key, then. Yep. Yeah. Well, you do have that big sharp knife. You could always cut me out of here. She speaks with almost complete nonchalance. Mm. That's pretty similar to what if she we said last time. down here for long enough, I'm sure we'd be nonchalant about cutting our way Yeah, out. it's also pretty much the same Anything thing here, to finally it? be free. You attempt to make your oh. way out of the basement, but the door at the top of the <laughs> it stairs... It sends us to the stairs anyway! Is someone else here? Um... Do we even want I mean, to bother? No, just no. don't bother. It's the same choice. Alright. You make your way back to the bottom of the stairs. This would have been so much easier if you'd simply slain her like you were supposed to. Easier for whom? Easier for everyone. I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? The knife. Pick it up and cut me out of here. You won't like what happens if you do that. Ah, uh, sure, sure it's princess. Say the princess, Chris? Uh, sure, because I think we're going to have to find what the other path is. Against your better judgment, you place the blade against the princess's arm, just above the massive, unyielding chain. Why do we go for the, the wrist, and the, or the, like, forearm and not the wrist? The blade is sharp. Yeah, that's a good question. Work of it. Before long, you're able to crack because through the Because she pulls the bleeding stub of her arm. It's more fun that way. In so theory, if you're going to amp, like, perform some sort of amputation, you would Free want to create binding, kind of like a maw-shaped cut. It's kind of like, I don't know how you describe it. It's like, um, a kind of like hemispherical, uh, with like the radius on the outside of the wrist on either side, so that you could basically like push uh, the like Pac-Man mouths together and sew it. I missed the beginning of that, Ruskar, and I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, that is that is that is amputation technique. Okay. At least it at uh, least it was the last time I checked, which was about 1860. So. The last uh, several times we did this, she had a smile, and looked very weird. Uh, now she's just like, eh. How is she so composed after losing an arm? It's like she isn't even bothered by it. Thank you. Now let's get out of here. Yeah, how do we do that exactly? Any of that. The stakes are too high. You can't just let her escape into the world. No, I just can't let her escape into the world. As the princess approaches the bottom, so I guess stair, we're doing this again. He steps forward and raises. Right. The I, I, I'm curious to see Wait, how we get a you different outcome the next Watch time through. I think no matter what, we're locked into this. Oh, hey, warn her is available again. So we're on a different path than the previous one. Which I guess makes sense because we've done both of those. Go for it. Was that a warn her vote or a slay the princess vote? Uh, I mean, did we do slay the princess? I think we did, right? Because we had to after warn her got taken away. I, I think both of these are, are like the, the princess we're going to get here is different from the princess we got the last couple times. Because every time we did this, we were like extremely conciliatory to the princess and I think almost never had the blade with us initially. All right. Um, I'm cool with you either way. Do we want to try to kill her or do we want to try to let her live? If, if they're both new paths, you're, we're going to have to go through both of them anyway, so just pick one. Alright, let's see what happens with Warner this time. Stop that. I thought this was a little too easy. Your body lunges forward to sink the blade into her back, but the princess swiftly moves out of the way before you can connect. Stop it! Stop resisting me! I am trying to get you out of here alive! 
Let's resist. The blade. Move the blade. You're doing this, your best to help me. This is actually about uh, how difficult it is to swing a dagger in Daggerfall. I'll make this quick. Oh, God. <laughs> I would actually oh, use somewhat more. You gotta bring your mouse speed. up and then hold left click and then wave it around. She steps I, I like to talk to people about how like that works at Daggerfall and Arena. About how like clicking way. and dragging for attacks goes. Oh, Considering boy. that because it always comes and a thing where it's like, oh well people just didn't I'm like, no, people knew. Like there this this was already a solved problem in video games. They had something they were trying to do here, but like this wasn't them yeah. trying to come up with the first Butchered. principles this like the solution to this, isn't it? I'm afraid it is. Everything goes dark, and which died. Huh? Was it like that in Ultima? Was what? I, I have remember. not played any Ultima games. Your honor. Because Underworld was uh, one and two were like the direct the predecessors to cabin. Arena. It's the one that they like and looked the at and said, "Yeah, cabin. let's do that." Is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. 